Look at this bench, man. This thing is awesome. I made it with five two by fours and three tools. That's it. The three tools I used to make this bench was a miter saw, a pocket hole jig, and a cordless drill. If you don't have a miter saw, you can use a circular saw or a jig saw, or you could even hand saw it. I did use a palm sander, but clearly you could use hand sandpaper as well. I'll show you how I made this project. You can batch it out, it's so easy. You can make a bunch of these and sell them for profit. Let's get started. Welcome back to woodcraft716.com. I'm Mike Weibel and on this channel we build awesome projects with inexpensive tools. To get this project started today, we're gonna need five two by fours, eight foot long. We'll start by cutting our two by fours to 47 inches. That way we can get two pieces out of each two by four plus cut off the ends so that they're nice clean and all the same size. If you don't have a miter saw, go ahead and use your circular saw that'll work just as well. The next thing we'll do is set our bevel to 15 degrees. Now that our saw is set to the correct angle, we're going to cut two pieces at 17 inches. These will be the rails that the bench top mounts to. Just like that. Keeping the same angle, we're going to cut four legs at 16 inches. Make sure to keep the angle facing the same direction so the bench goes together properly. We'll just cut all four of these legs the same and put them off to the side. Then, keeping our 15 degree angle, we're going to cut the two lower supports for the legs. We're going to lay our 2x4 down on its side and we're going to cut them to 12 and 3 quarter inches on the long side. And it should look like this. Now we just move our blade back to 90, measure 37 and 3 quarter, and cut one piece for the lower rail that connects the two legs together. Okay, of course we're going to put pocket holes in this thing. We're going to put pocket holes in the tops of each legs, each side of the divider, and the long divider is going to get them at each end. I did choke up on the collar a little bit so that when we're cutting these angled pieces we don't poke through. Okay, now we're just going to start sanding these things. We're going to sand everything. We're going to round over the edges on the bench. We're just going to take off any of the high spots and just get it ready for paint. If you don't have a random orbit sander, go ahead and just use regular hand sandpaper. We just want to take those edges off, that's all. Now that we're all sanded and we're good to go, we're going to use this Thompson's water sealer and we're going to seal just the top 2x4s, just the slats on the bench top. We're going to coat them all top and bottom and put them off to dry. Alright, here we go to assemble this thing. We take the top rail with the long edge on top. Flip it over and we put a mark at three and a half inches in from the beveled edge. Then we just come up two and a half inches on the legs and we put a mark. I cut these two by fours as a shim. They're an inch thick and that way when I put my center support on here, it'll be dead center on the two by four. Now I'll just line up the bottom edge to the line, glue it and pocket hole screw it. I'm using type on three because it's waterproof and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. And now that should line up real well with the top. We're not going to put the top on yet. We're going to attach the seat slats first and then put this on. So we'll just do the same thing to the other side and this will be good to go. And now we'll put the middle leg in. I just marked the middle enough that I could see it from the side and I'm just going to eyeball this and pocket hole screw it. And we'll just flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. Alright, now we're going to paint the base here with this Krylon Color Max exterior black paint. If you recognize the color scheme, I tend to use this in the outdoor furniture. We'll start with our top pieces and get those done so they can start drying so we can assemble the top. Then we'll go on to the bench, covering the whole thing top and bottom. Pay attention to the end grain because this is an exterior piece. Just like that. Okay, so I've laid my planks out the good side facing down, so this is the bottom. Then I just spaced them out to 18 inches at both sides, and then I came in two and a half inches from each end and I put a mark. Then I took the top rail and I put it on those marks at two and a half inches. Now these are 17 inches long and the bench is 18, so there's just a half inch on either side. So I'm going to trace it out, 
Then I'm just going to glue it and screw it with some decking screws. I'm going to start with the two end pieces and I'm going to put two screws in each plank staggering them across the way. Then we'll just turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. And now we just put the bench on top, glue it and pocket hole screw it. Making sure that they're all lined up with the legs. And man, look how this thing turned out. This came out nice. It was super easy, super cheap. It wasn't hard to build. I know you can build it. This is one of those projects that you can just batch out and make a bunch of and sell for profit. If you got any value out of this and you want to see more easy woodworking projects that sell, go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all the new content we have coming out. And that'll do it for this one. Remember to always create and inspire others. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.